wanted to talk a little bit about turning customers into a tribe or really like how important the customer service aspect is to to the to, the, to, to an e to e-commerce success it's not something you know everyone knows you need to have good customer service at this point but it's kind of something mm. that's sort of glossed over i think a lot of people ignore it what are your thoughts on sort of how to put like customer service at the top of your sort of value chain i mean so like we we sort of had a bit of a, a journey with this as well like i mentioned we had a lot of filming issues in the beginning website issues um, or people were being double charged or skipped orders and stuff like that. So, you know, we had a lot of customer service issues in the beginning. Um, and because we went so big so quick, people were like holding us to the standard of this big company where we were just, you know, a bunch of guys trying to figure it out doing our best. So we had to kind of create this level of transparency about that. Um, and at the time, we were looking at customer service like a cost center um, and just like, oh, you know, we have to talk to these members and, you know, we have to make sure that they're happy. But it was never like a priority. Um, we really like, we struggled initially with retention as well uh, for a number of reasons, like product offering, um, like order frequency, um, but also just kind of making people feel like they were part of something bigger than themselves in the club. Like that was the reason that we were able to bring people in. But once they purchased something, that was kind of where it ended. Um, and really at kind of a, a transitional point, there's a couple of members that got our logo tattooed on them. And there's like four people now that have a beer club logo tattooed. So we're like, yeah, this is really cool. Um, and, you know, we sent them a ton of free product and and talked to them. And and uh, it kind of occurred to me like months later, I was just like, hey, like, why, why did you do that? You know, why, why'd you go and get our logo tattooed? And he's like, honestly, like, um, I'm a really shy guy and it's tough for me to go out and talk to new people and, you know, don't have a lot of self-confidence, but I use your products. It makes me feel like I'm worth taking care of. And it gives me an excuse to like go talk to that other bearded guy and, you know, like make a new friend or just kind of break out of this social anxiety thing I have going on. And, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm part of something that's, you know, a club and something bigger. And, you know, at that point, I'm just like, man, we're not really selling beard oil. And um, I think this is a huge disconnect. A lot of people have in e-commerce is the disconnect of what they're really selling. You know, um, we're selling like confidence and belonging. And that's what people were that's what people were buying, right? So we were completely misaligned with that. And it was kind of a huge wake up call for us to really reprioritize uh, retention and really reprioritize uh, creating like an actual membership experience that people um, truly enjoy and, and then want to advocate for. Um, another huge um, a book that I really love that came out, I think it was earlier this year called Never Lose a Customer Again by Joey Coleman. Have you heard of that? Okay. I haven't, no. It is, you got to get it, man. It's a fantastic book. It's one of my favorite. I probably sold like 500 copies for Joey right now. I haven't met him in person, but I've met him on, online. But um, it's just absolutely phenomenal and just kind of goes through the process of, you know, how to take a customer and turn them into an advocate over this like kind of 100 day process. And one of the most startling things that he says in like the introduction is if you can reduce churn by 5%, you can increase your profit, like your bottom line profit. Um, 25 to 100%, right? So just those customers that you already have in your back pocket, you know, to keep them on, you know, a couple more months or whatever that is by just really making them happy, feel like a part of your tribe, um, you can just do absolute wonders for your business. You think about like if every one of your customers and, you know, your business that you have right now went and brought one of their friends, you would double your business overnight, right? Yeah. So it's just, really prioritizing like that tribe that people want to be a part of and serving them with the what they're actually buying the experience that they truly want from your products um, is so incredibly important and something that we learned you know like like a lot of lessons uh the hard way in in not really truly understanding that i wanted to ask your uh yeah so you've got your you're building this tribe what what were here's just a specific question this is something i'm interested in because we're with isac training we're sending out mainly emails around the products that we're offering and the things that we're that we're doing. But in order to really have an engaged list and build that sense of community, you really have to be sending a lot.